Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. As you can see down in the title below, yes, I am doing an Excision Nexus tour review. This was definitely something. Anyways, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button somewhere. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And also, don't forget to comment down below what was your favorite set during the Nexus tour in Vancouver? And also, what was the coolest thing you saw at the show? Anyways, let's get to the video. Okay, guys, I'm gonna be so honest about my first all dubstep bass show. <laughs> it was definitely something. All I have to say is, back body hurt. <laughs> it was really fun just to like headbang with some friends. And honestly, really love that my sister really dragged me out. So thank you to Michaela. Now she's a really big bass head. Although she's been to Bass Canyon and I don't know how she survived that three days. And I don't know if I could just because I love to shuffle. So if I don't hear any like techno, bass house, maybe even hard style, for just even a little bit. Yeah, I may get bored, no offense. But again, it was just such a time. Love that I was able to shuffle here and there and of course be able to head bang, body bang. So overall, I love, love, loved the show. And of course, I've been converted. <laughs> Anyways, from beginning to end, I want to let you guys know that, you know, from the beginning, getting into the Pacific Coliseum, it was definitely, like, easy. There was no lineup. I thought I was going to be freezing in line in a long lineup just because I usually know that during base shows, it's usually a bigger crowd. And honestly, I think being in, like, the Vancouver side and even down in, like, the Seattle side, there's a lot of base heads, I feel. And also, like, just hearing from my friends and even my sister talking about the base community, like, it's just so big here overall. So it was really nice to see that the lineup was barely anything. And then getting through security was, of course, really easy peasy. So whenever you go through, they're gonna get you to put your bag down. They're gonna check it, obviously. They're gonna check you. You're gonna walk through the metal detector. And if you get like beeps, obviously they're gonna like uh, go through another hand metal detector to just check everything. But overall, the whole process was really easy and no complaints. I was literally in line for probably like, five minutes, I would say. And that was pretty much it. And then of course I headed down and I was low key, to be honest, nervous. Maybe because I'm not used to like an all bass crowd but it was really nice to just walk around by myself went to the washroom and I found my sister and friends and it was just so nice to know like just really taking everything in and I think for me I've been going more out of my comfort zone like going out without my boyfriend really going to a base show was really out of my comfort zone I just told myself like you know this is still gonna be a safe space just because it's a room full of ravers and for me I do pretty much trust ravers because plur culture and you know usually at events like um, people are super nice about returning things and just being really nice to the community So that's why I was feeling okay during the event. But anyways from the beginning of the show I think I made it for I made it for heritage actually and heritage just threw down Such good music of course played dubstep bass of course dropped some bass house and I was just like all right, no regrets at all. And I was so glad I made it for Heritage because that was the one set I wanted to make it in for. And to be honest, as a grandma, yeah, I ain't that young anymore. I've been raving for like about close to 10 years now. And I just was so tired. I honestly thought I was going to just make it for Space Laces, but thank goodness made it for Heritage. And unfortunately, I think it was Hole that didn't make it as well too. So I was low-key kind of sad because I wanted to see Hole. Um, I wanted to redeem myself because at Boo, I saw Hole's set. And to be honest, I wasn't the biggest fan. And I thought like it would be different just because it's he is part of Excision's tour this time. But that's okay, maybe next time. But anyways, on to Space Laces. Space Laces was actually probably one of my favorites as well. Even though I only saw three acts during the whole weekend. Space Laces was really great. When I heard him drop some Joyride, I was like... Say less, we love the base house. So thank you, Space Laces. It was a time. Love that I got to headbang, appreciate your music. And it was a time, honestly. Like, I did not hate it at all. I did not, I thought I was just gonna be like the whole entire time. But the whole entire time, I was just like, yeah. <laughs> and then shuffles. <laughs> all right, and then going to Excision Set. Excision Set was just, whew. 
I see it now. I, mean, I go sober to these. So when I was watching this, I just knew like everyone was just like, you have to pay attention to the production. You know, it's going to be a crazy show. Visuals um, at the back, um, the lasers. He even brought, Excision even brought his own production, which was so insane seeing like the lights on the ceiling. So I, no regrets at all. I was just having the time. And honestly, like it was just so nice that I wasn't the only one that went to my first base show. And like some of us were able to talk about how, wow, like how the show is going so well. Um, but yeah, I definitely got converted. <laughs> So thank you all bass heads for really like really showing your love for bass at this show. Honestly, I just felt so so happy to see like the vibes all around. Like just looking around the whole Coliseum, I was just like, wow. Like this is a room full of bass heads and like you can see all the joy and happiness from these bass heads. And of course, like people like judge, I feel when it comes to like bass music because it's so hard it goes hard and like some people say it's noisy but you know what the coolest thing was was really just being in a room full of people enjoying bass music and like you don't get that anywhere and like just seeing the different ethnicities around and just vibing what a time one cool thing i wanted to show you guys was my boyfriend made me a excision perler slash candy I honestly thought I was going to be able to do some more candy trades. Like, I made some more candies in here. But there were no candy trades. That was probably the one thing I was a little upset about. But that's okay. Maybe next time. But anyways, guys, I got converted. So I guess this is a good review. <laughs> and no complaints at this show. Anyways, that's pretty much it for my review. Um, if you guys made it this far, don't forget to comment down below again. Give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I'm not too sure what my next event will be. Actually, no, I lied. It's going to be ISO Exonoc 2 at Seattle. Maybe I'll vlog that just to like, you know, um, show you guys how it's like because I know some of you guys won't be able to make it. And I know Noc 2 is not coming to Vancouver anytime soon. So it'll be nice for some of you Vancouver people to watch this. And I'm so sorry that and I've been focusing a lot on shuffling lately. But you know, shuffling is part of the EDM culture, EDM scene. So growing it here in Vancouver has been such a time, such a hustle for sure. But educating the young ones on EDM and shuffling has just been... I know, it's making my heart just melt every single day that I'm with them. But anyways, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.